Good evening, class. Welcome. Thanks for joining. All of you are really welcomed. We are going to... Hi, Hi, Alexis. Welcome, Fanny. Francisco Mejia, welcome. Jocelyn, welcome. Hey, class, all of you are really welcomed, okay? Francisco Ernesto Boquín, welcome. Okay, in a couple of seconds, we are going to get started. Exactly the time, so here we go. Okay, class, it is a real pleasure to be here with you. It is so very nice. Hello, Francisco, Ernesto, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. good evening. Everything fine at home because of the rain, yes? No problems because of the heavy rain? No, no, no problem. problema por la lluvia. Ah, okay, great, excellent. No, no, no está lloviendo por acá. Oh, really? Ah, okay, maybe later on it's going to be a heavy rain, believe me, because in many places it has been raining. But anyways, I'm happy that all of you are here, okay? And, uh, well, let's see who is writing. Okay. I'm going to answer to your partners. Okay, here. As I was telling you, class, in many places it has been raining cats and dogs. Cats and dogs means when a lot of rain, thunders, lightning blew on heaven, you know, and a lot of water. Yeah, so that is. It's raining cats and dogs. Están lloviendo a cántaros, decimos nosotros, pero ellos dicen cats and dogs, como que si llovieran perros y gatos del cielo, okay? In many places and here, and I was like this, oh my God, because of the connectivity. Okay, Francisco, um, Jocelyn, great. Okay, thank you. You are on your way. You are commuting. Pablo? Good evening, Cecilia, good evening. Uh, Diane, good evening. Okay, all of you are really welcome, class. Tania is connecting right now. And uh, let's see, Cecilia. Okay, great. Cecilia, did you continue working in the platform? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, remember that you need to finish as soon as possible, okay? Tenemos que terminar eso lo más pronto posible because we are having rainy season. And maybe it, you can have any inconvenience if you have it because of the connectivity with internet or with the uh, blackout, the power. Power means electricity, okay? Tulio, welcome. And Erika, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, okay? I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you. So we can go over while the others join. Okay, I'm going to share my PPT with you guys for today. Today is our class number 16. So in other words, we only have four more classes. Yes or no? Tomorrow, Friday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, God will, it is going to be on on Wednesday, but let me ask you something, talking about that, did you already send your papers for module three? Ya enviaron sus documentos para módulo tres? Yes, miss. Okay, great, Alexis, number yes, one. Teacher. Okay, Francisco Ernesto González Boquín, two, they have one point extra. They are going to get 11 in the grade, not 10, 11. Van a tener 11 de nota, no van a tener 10. Ajá, uh -huh. else? ¿Quién más envió ya los documentos? ¿Ya le dijeron sus recursos humanos que los enviaron? Pablo, not yet. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Excellent. Erika, Fátima, Tania. Eh, did you already send the papers? ¿Ya enviaron los documentos? Recuerden enviarlos lo más pronto posible porque si no, a medida que se tardan, así van quedando para otro grupo, ¿verdad? esperando hasta que se llena el otro grupo, ¿sí? Entonces, entre más rápido lo envíen, más rápido eh, los van a incluir en un, en un grupo, ¿de acuerdo? 
Hello, Oscar, welcome. Okay, I'm going to continue. And uh, here we go. Okay, today is May 25th, 2023, and it is our video conference number 16. We have greetings. The feedback greetings was the first activity. We're going to have a feedback or review on what we did in this um, unit three. And what we did yesterday, one of you is going to help me reading the objectives as every day that we meet in class. The pre-task is to practice different ways to report a problem at work, especially tech problems. So the preparation task goes over to manage vocabulary on how to report a problem by phone. The task is going to be to identify common issues in an office. Issues, this word is plural because the singular is issue. Issues is plural. And uh, it is a synonym for problems, difficulties, okay? Now, okay, who is going to help me reading the specific objective and the class objective. Hello. Okay, Alexis, thank you so much. I appreciate. Okay, uh, specific objectives. Participant will we, we'll be, we'll be able to manage vocabulary on how to report a problem be, be found. By class phone. Objective, by phone. Okay, a class objective participant will be able to report a problem via telephone. Via, via telephone. Via telephone. Okay, so this is the specific objective and the class objective, as I told you at uh, the beginning when I was reading the agenda. And now here, who is going to help me reading this information for the people who are a little bit behind? Quienes van un poquito atrasados con el trabajo en la plataforma. One volunteer to read this in, in Spanish. Let me see who's going to help me. Um, I'm going to ask. Uh, let me see. I'm going to choose a victim. Maybe a lot of listeners. Listener, listener. I know. Okay. I'm going to ask. Uh, Pablo, yeah, because I have a lot of listeners, they are commuting. They are uh, traveling back home. Okay. Please help me, um, Pablo. Okay, teacher, solo espero que se vea la pantalla. Okay. Tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% por medio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. La tarea se encuentra en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que estos registros se envían en su aporo semanalmente. La fecha límite para terminar el examen medio es antes de la medianoche. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final, final examen, es un día antes de la medianoche. El manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma no se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Ok. Did all of you download the manual from the platform? Todos a estas alturas me imagino ya descargaron el manual. Si no lo han descargado, tienen que, porque es requisito por parte de Insaport. Ellos verifican si lo descargaron o no, si no. Y bueno, ¿y cómo es que estudió? Pues, ¿verdad? ¿Y cómo es que estuvo en clases y no, y no, y no descargó el manual? Sí. Entonces, ahí queda la evidencia cuando se descarga, cada quien que descarga el manual, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, Eliel, welcome. Let's expect that all of you are going to have a good connectivity today because in some places like in uh, Sochil's uh, house in Eliel, it's uh, a little bit difficult today because of the heavy rain and the very strong winds. Strong winds, vientos fuertes. Okay. Uh, welcome, Eliel and uh, I saw that Teresa de Jesus. Okay. Thank God you're here with your connectivity. Okay. Welcome, Teresa and Eliel. 
And now let's continue. And here the requisites, requerimientos. Eh, Teresa, Teresa de Jesús, are you okay with your connectivity and with your audio? Hi, teacher. Good okay. evening. Good evening. Uh, Teresa, ¿me puede ayude, ayudar a leer esta, esta información sobre los requerimientos? Sí. Ok. Eh, requerimientos. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Participación activa. Ok, that is basically, right? Eso es elemental, la participación activa, no cabe discusión. Y pues la cámara encendida cuando sea posible. Y el nombre completo también, eso es obligatorio, tal cual como aparecen en el DUI. And here the attendance, it is expected that you uh, are going to be connected 100% of the class in 120 minutes, ya. Yeah? The attendance is taken twice, about 8.20 p.m. and at about 9.40 p.m. And it is going to be valid your attendance when you say presente, present, here I am, here, or here teacher, okay? And the sessions one-on-one -on -one are available at the end of the class for each of you, for one of you. And to clarify any doubt or to practice speaking and reading permissions are not allowed okay i am not allowed to give you any permission no tengo la autorización no es no tengo el aval de nadie para darles permiso para faltar nada más usted lo reporta en el chat y se lo reporta también a la administración de inglés corporativo y ellos tomarán nota y lo reportarán a Insacor porque ellos tampoco Están autorizados. Sí, puede faltar. No, no podemos, ¿ok? And then here, as every day, in Zoom, you have the button silence in mute, camera on, chat via Zoom and via WhatsApp, available for you, the breakout rooms. And when we are in the breakout rooms, you have the button for ask for help, available in case that you need my help. I I'm going to transfer, okay, uh, from one group to another one. And above all, as every day, respect. Above all, respect as you have been doing every single day. And here we are. Okay, today is 24th. We're going to start week number four, unit four. And we, God will. We're going to finish on May 31st. And here we go with the feedback. If you remember class yesterday, we were reading this for paragraphs about activities that in many companies, um, people develop managers, coordinators, supervisors, they are the CEO, the authorities, in order to have happier employees, for example, uh, in some places, they organize yoga classes or aerobic classes, uh, celebrate birthdays, um, they prepare a paintball tournament, or another one is to guess who. And we were reading about what each of these activities is about. Later, you read these sentences and you determine if according to the information they were true or false, okay? In the case that the statement was false, you had to correct it and write it in the correct way. And we did it. Later, you were transferred again to the breakout rooms and you shared with your classmates, okay? Which activities um uh, you live you have in your companies some of you say none by now none and i am alone i am an accountant and so on but in other workplaces you had some and you were sharing that and here if you remember we went through a schedule events at the workplace 
how to use present continuous for temporary activities. We read this and in exercise number four, you created a conversation and you role played it, yes? But now we're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms and you are going to go over exercise number six. Writing, I need you to write six line paragraph about temporary event at your workplace, yeah? Each of you is going to write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. Use your imagination. And later, you're going to share them with a classmate. For example, let's see. Let's go over this activity as a brainstorming, okay? And here we go. Okay, these days, for example, these days I am having the Mother's Day celebration. Yeah. Um, we are preparing the Father's Day celebration. Because it is a paragraph, I don't write a, a list of activities. No, it is a paragraph. These days I am having the Mother's Day celebration, period. Period, because we have another sentence. Period es punto y seguido. Stop or full stop, punto final, okay? And then we are preparing the Father's Day celebration. Another activity, maybe, mm, let's see. I am, I am arranging a video conference with all the managers of the company to tell you an example, yes? And then you continue. I have three lines right now. Now it is your turn. You do it. Use your imagination. Use your creativity. Okay. Do you have questions about this activity? Hello. Preguntas sobre esta actividad que vamos a realizar. No, no teacher. Okay. It is the, it is the follow up. Follow up. El seguimiento. It is the follow up of what you did yesterday in class. Miren, acá. En la página 40, entonces tenemos acá exercise number six, writing. Acá un parrafito de seis oraciones, de seis líneas, ¿verdad? Y así como les escribí yo, ay Dios mío. Oh my God, many people having problems with the, with the connectivity. If you have any question about the activity, please let me know, okay? Si hay alguna pregunta sobre la actividad, eh, no duden en preguntar. Yo les aclaro. Good evening, Miss. Eh, yo voy entrando. Eh, no, no sé cómo. We are, hablar. okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Sorry, because I am answering some messages. Your partners uh, wrote in the WhatsApp because they are having problems with the internet connectivity. Okay, Miss, we are in the follow up of what you did yesterday. Here in exercise number six, okay, you are going to write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. Acá me va a escribir un parrafito de seis líneas en relación a las actividades temporales que se están desarrollando en su lugar de trabajo. In order to do that, I shared with the class because you have to put into practice your creativity in case that you are not having activities. So I wrote this as an example. Ok. 
okay, now you can see my 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 whiteboard. These days, I am having the Mother's Day celebration, period. Punto y seguido, porque luego sigue otra oración. Y comienzo con mayúscula, I start with capital letter, because it is the beginning of a new sentence. Todos los inicios de nueva oración comienzan con mayúscula. We are preparing the Father's Day celebration, period. I am arranging a video conference with all the managers of the company. And then I continue, okay? For example, you say, these days I am having the Mother's Day celebration. We are preparing the Father's Day celebration. I am arranging the family, family's day celebration because you work in a school, for example. Yes, trabaja en un colegio, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí celebran el Día de la Familia también. Yeah. Um, uh, also, I wrote, I am arranging a video conference or I am preparing the agenda for, uh, for the parents' meeting para una reunión con los padres de familia, ¿sí? Dependiendo del trabajo, así lo, lo van adecuando, ¿ok? okay. ¿Con fechas o solo así? No, only, only the event. Ok. Ok, and that's it. Eh, veamos quién más me escribió aquí. Hey, it's time to take your first attendance. Hora de tomar primera asistencia. Uh, Brandon Alexis. Here, teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Eunice. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Daniel Eduardo. Absent. Uh, Diana Michelle. Diana Barahona, Diana Michelle Barahona, Erika Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Erika. Fanny Melanie. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Thank you, Miss Fanny. Fatima. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Fatima. Francisco Antonio Corea Cimede, uh, he's um, on his way. He's riding a motorcycle. Francisco Ernesto González. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Jocelyn. Josie. Present teacher. Okay, you're here. Thank you, Jocelyn. Eliel, Jonathan. Present teacher. Great to have you here. Jose Francisco Mejia Salguero. I thought uh, he got connected. Oscar, ah, Francisco Mejía. Josué, ah, you're here. You're connected at least. Okay, you're commuting. Josué is commuting. Luis is absent. Mayra. Mayra is absent. Oscar, Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Pablo. Present teacher, voy escuchando ahorita. Ok, Josué, thank you. Thank you, Oscar, too. Pablo, thank you. Present Sarita. Present. Tania. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Tania. Teresa de Jesús. Yeah. Present teacher. Thank you, Teresa. Xochil. Ah, she's having problems with the connectivity. Tulio. Here I am, teacher. Okay, now feeling better? Entiendo de mejorcito, Tulio? Yes? Yes, ya mejor. Okay, great. That's good. When you finish your sentences, please let me know, okay? Me avisan cuando terminan las oraciones. Yo creo que ayer ya hubo un grupo que las terminó. Yes or no? Eliel finished yesterday. Correct, Eliel. Uh, I finished. Uh, okay, uh, I am done. Excellent.
Okay, let's wait for the others, Eliel. Cecilia, are you here, Ceci? Cecilia Unice. Sí, ya casi. Cecilia, necesito que trabaje en la plataforma. Únicamente me, uy, únicamente visualizo acá el homework 1 si sí está 100%, pero el homework 2 me lleva el 80% y nada más me debe también el midterm exam. A estas alturas ya tendría que haberme terminado mínimo el homework eh, de toda la sección 3 hasta ahí y el midterm exam, ¿ok? Entonces le pido de favor que eh, me actualice eso, ¿sí? Y Diana, Diana me debe la sección 3, la semana 3 lleva el 60% nada más, Diana. Ok, a ponernos al día. Veamos quién más. Él y él sí va al día. Solo me debe ya la semana 4 y el examen final. Eh, Francisco Mejía. Me parece que está por acá, sí. Francisco Mejía tiene que trabajarme mucho en la plataforma. No me ha trabajado nada, Francisco Mejía, por favor. Vamos, ¿quién más? Y la mayoría, qué bien. Josué. Josué me ha trabajado hasta el Homework 3, el 96%, y ya me hizo el examen, el midterm, ya se actualizó. Me debe la sección 4, Josué. Y el examen final. Vamos bien, Josué. Sí, ánimo, teacher, usted lo puede. Sí, ánimos, ánimos, usted puede, ¿ok? Gracias. Y veamos. Y Tania me debe la semana 4 y el examen final, está bien. Teresa de Jesús terminó todo hace tiempo. Tulio también ya todo terminado y Xochitl también todito, todito terminado, ya. ¿Verdad? Ok, thank you. Entonces, a quienes les dije, me hacen el favor de actualizar. Ok, finish class. Yes? Yeah. Ok, now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms.
so you can read your, your paragraphs, okay? One another. Take turns reading one another. Toman turnos leyendo el uno al otro sus parrafitos, okay? Here we go. Okay, I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Here we go. Read your paragraphs. Read your production in English. Go, go, go. Join, join, join. Go to your groups. Join your groups class. Sarita, I need you in group number one. Pablo, I need you in group number two. Oscar, I need you in group number three. Teresa, I need you in group number two. Jocelyn, go to your group. Yo solo tres tengo ahorita. Ok. Compártela si quieres ahorita. Eh, ok. <coughs> Tomorrow there will be an evaluation for the children of fifth grade. Next week, there will be evaluations for kinders five and high school. The coming the classing of or school classing. Esas son las que tengo ahorita, porque son las que próximamente, o sea, las que vienen, esa actividad. Sí, pero no estamos usando el futuro, Sarita. Entonces, léame la primera. Léame la primera, please. Tomorrow, there uh -huh. will be an evaluation for the children of fifth grade. Okay, so you write like this. Fifth graders are having an evaluation tomorrow. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, the next activity? Uh, next week, there uh -huh. will be there will be evalu evaluation mm -hmm. for kinder five okay. and high school. Kinder five and high school are having evaluations next week. Yes. yes. And the other one? Uh, then come the closing of school closing. Uh, the closing of the school is coming soon. Yeah, because soon. the year, the international year is going to finish very soon. Yes. Next yes. month. So you mm -hmm. have the closing of the school is coming soon. Ah, entonces no era necesario que escribiera tanto, solo era... Es que usted lo escribió como futuro lejano con Will y estamos usando el continuo porque ya está programado. Es decir, eso se tiene que dar, ¿sí? Es que también, o sea, es, es que quizás lo escribí mal, pero es que, eh, o sea, se va a dar. Porque por, mañana es la... Por, eso, la por eso no tenía que escribir ah. 
porque ah, usamos, ya usamos sí. will cuando ese futuro se puede dar o no se puede dar y usamos ah, el continuo porque ah, ya es ya hay arreglos ya hay algo programado sí ah ya cuando se va a dar entonces usamos sí. will si yo digo por ejemplo imaginémonos que y Faitelio, my son will get married. Mi hijo se casará. Puede Ajá. que se case, puede que no se case. Puede que se case pronto, puede que se case de aquí a un, bueno, como él es un ellos, si se casa será de aquí a unos 20 años, me imagino yo, ¿verdad? Porque sí. es adolescente. Entonces no es un futuro cercano, no es algo que está programado, mientras que esto sí, por lo tanto no usamos will, sino ah. be continuous but with the meaning of future, ¿ya? Uh -huh. Porque yeah. son eventos que están programados en estos días, ¿ok? Uh -huh. okay. ok, now continue you please, uh, group, continue reading your paragraphs. Next. Este, yo salí un ratito, no sé, no escuché la explicación, pero si gusta, digo lo que había trabajado. Me corrige. ¿Puedo? Yes, ¿Va? because I'm listening to you, but I'm checking also the WhatsApp and your partners with the connectivity problems, ¿ok? Begin, Julio. Okay. ¿Y en Acudesval? will be celebrating Mother's Day on May 31. Uh, the 1st of June will be uh, the General uh, Assembly. No sé cómo se dice asamblea, teacher. Assembly, assembly. Assembly, assembly uh, General mm -hmm. Assembly of the Communities. O Communities. Communities, uh, communities. Ah, uh, eso. Eh, lo otro es that, eh, that Sunday eh, will be delivered at food eh, support the eh, educator of the child eh, welfare centers. Okay. The only thing that I would suggest to you is May 31st, not 31. May ah. 31st. Okay. Okay. You need to notice the way that I write the dates, okay? So it is May 31st, yeah? Okay. It's like if you say 30, wait, 30 first. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And there was another one, John 1st. Yes, you write we. First, first, okay. Only that. And now maybe Eliel. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Put on. Uh, on this day. We are having the bird dice activity. And the company is having a soccer tournament in June and we are preparing for the Father's Day. And, and uh, uh, we are Preparing for the the Christmas. No sé si si es tan cercano así como para No, decir that's que ya okay, estoy... that's okay because you are planning no, okay. ahead. Están planeando yes. participación. You're planning ahead, okay? Ajá. Ah, pues sí, solamente eso. Okay, excellent, very well. And Fanny, uh, Jocelyn, Fanny cannot speak at the moment. You're not available, Fanny. Fanny no está disponible. Oh, yes. yes. yes ok, yes. ok, please. Well, um, buy a, a cake for the employee birthdays. Ok. Um, prepare, celebrate for the anniversary company. 
Ah, we are preparing the celebration for the company's anniversary. We are prepared for the We are preparing. Okay, I'm going to write it. Se lo escribe. Okay. Vaya, lo vamos a escribir acá para, para ver si eh, tenemos la misma idea. Ok, si yo le capto la misma idea. Ok, hold it. So here we are preparing for the uh, company's company's anniversary uh, celebration. Yes. Okay. Next one. Okay. We are preparing for the company's anniversary celebration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, organize the party for the Christmas. We are organizing okay. the Christmas party. We are organizing the Christmas party. Uh -huh. Next. Uh, we are organizing the Mother's Day. We are um, organizing the uh, the Mother's Day celebration. Celebration. Okay. okay. Tomorrow we are organized even for the group to visit. Okay. Tomorrow we are organizing the the groups. Yeah. The groups what? To visit. The groups, los grupos que van a visitar. Uh, Llegarán al hotel. Organizing the groups. No. The groups are, entonces sería así. The groups that are visiting the hotel. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay, okay. And that's it. Very well. That's all. That's all. Okay, very well. We are preparing for the company's anniversary celebration. We are organizing the Christmas party. We are organizing the Mother's Day celebration. Tomorrow, we're organizing the groups that are visiting the hotel. Well done. Very good. Okay, so let me see Tanya. And now, let's get back to the main session room, okay? Thank you. Francisco Ernesto, do you have your paragraph? Con Alexis. No, but you have your sentences, your paragraph. Yes. Yes, sí. Okay, would you like to read it for the class? Uh, right. Um, I participate in celebrate the date of the bank employer. Uh, I participate in celebrate uh, birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, we are preparing celebration for the day. This is the day I am having in the mother I day celebration. Okay. Uh, only participate. Particip no, participate. I am participating. Okay. Partici I, I, I am participating I am, with I ING. I am, I am participating. I am. Okay. That is the Thank only you. thing. Thank you for sharing very well.
So class, here we go. Let's continue. And that was part of the feedback on what we did yesterday and in unit number three. But today we're going to start working. Okay, hold it because I'm going to share the PPT better. First, the PPT. So let's go over pages uh, 39. Okay, let's look for page 39 in our manual and let's get ready to practice this one. And I need you, okay, to ask and answer these uh, two questions, okay? These two questions over here. Okay. I know, okay. I don't know if someone is invading again my screen. Okay, so I can share with you. Someone is taking my screen. Alguien me está invadiendo la pantalla. Le voy a pedir a quien está invadiendo mi pantalla que me deje. Okay, gracias. No, no me lo permiten. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, over here. Yeah, this is your group. Class, I have shared with you the two questions that I need you to ask and answer in the breakout rooms. But I'm going to ask, let me see, maybe uh, Tulio, do you ever ask for tech support? ¿Alguna vez piden ayuda técnica? Ustedes uh, alguna vez en el trabajo piden ayuda técnica. Do you ever call uh, no. or ask tech support? No. No, no teacher. Okay, and okay, thank you. And Pablo, do you ever call tech support? Sí, le llamo a la supervisora cuando tengo dudas sobre alguna, algún problema que tenga el corte. Ah, uh, you you call the support the the supervisor, not tech support. No llama al equipo de IT, sino que your supervisor. Yes. Okay. And when do you do it? ¿Y cuándo lo hace? Eh, cuando tengo problemas. Eh, when I have es... problems. Sí. When I have eh, problems with. Cuando es un nuevo problema eh, que yo uh -huh. no he visto ninguna, ninguna vez esa situación. Entonces, uh -huh. no tengo un criterio definido y necesito apoyo de parte de ellos. Ok. Uh, I'm going to tell you that I call uh, for tech support to the ITs. For example, uh, the day that I had a blackout in my, in my house, yeah, I call tech support and they said, well, we cannot do nothing because it is a uh, problem in your community. En toda la colonia estábamos en energía. And then they came into the group and they talked to you, right? Someone from IT talked to you and they said that the class was canceled, right? Or if I have problems with my internet, I call them. Or if I have uh, problems with uh, the microphone or whatever, yeah? If I cannot solve it, I call them. But now, uh, in your case, you don't call directly to the tech support. You call your supervisor. And in different companies, they have different procedures. Yes, en las compañías tienen diferentes procedimientos. Eso lo vamos a estudiar a partir de ahora. Pero en este momento, in three minutes, you're going to ask and answer the questions. Uh, do you ever call tech support? When do you do it? Las preguntas que yo le hice a Pablo. Do you call tech support? ¿Llamas al equipo técnico? 
When do you do it? Cuando lo haces, bajo qué circunstancias lo haces, ¿ok? Entonces ahí ustedes dan su opinión, así como Pablo me la dio a mí, yo le expresé mi opinión a él, ¿ok? Here we go. Go to your groups, please, and begin. Okay. Okay, let me see. Pablo, uh, you are only with listeners. Eso sí no es por llamada. Ah, hay, hay, aquí creo que ahí está la ticha. Vamos a preguntarle. Ajá, preguntarle. Ok. What can I do for you? Yes, tell me. Con relación a la, a la primera question. Did you ever call text support? Text support, eh, yes. Support. Eh, call, no. No le llamamos. Uh -huh. Lo no, hay don. Es, eh, no, uh -huh. no hay dom. No, no hay dom. Pero el proceso es... Eh, por un email. Ajá. Uh -huh. So you say, no, I don't. I write an email. Ah, bueno. Ajá. Uh -huh. I write an email because you have a different procedure. Yes. Yes. Porque tiene diferente procedimiento. And then the next question, when do you do it? ¿Cuándo lo haces? ¿Bajo cuáles circunstancias es que envías el correo? Uh -huh. ah, y ahí le acuerdo. contesta. Ok. Very bueno. well. Ok, bye. Okay, uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, in my case, I don't. Have, nosotros no tenemos así como. Ah, uh, um, we don't have tech know. support. Okay, so you say no. I never call tech support. Pero acá okay. tienen otros compañeros con quienes participar, verdad? Porque están Alexis, Francisco, Ernesto, González. Le pueden preguntar. Está Pablo y está Tania. Sí. Ah, no, pero sí, Tania no sé si podrá participar. Ah. Okay. Alexis. Voy a ingresar Pablo. Ok, okay. Eh, okay Francisco. Eh, do you ever call tech support? No, I don't. I read that email. Ok. When do you do it? Uh, no internet cassette. Eh, mm -hmm. Internet cassette. Eh, sí, estás. Sí, escucho cortado. Ah, ok. Yo no a, Sarita, a Sarita le escucho cortado, a Erika no. <risa> Nosotros ya respondimos, ¿sí? ¿cierto? Lo que el, y el y él, ya falta. le contestaron a él y él, ya le preguntaron a él y él. Sí, ya le pregunté, uh -huh. pero dice sí. que no. No, you never call tech support. I never call them. Why not? Uh, because in my area, I'm not the responsible of that. No, pero si tiene problemas, ¿cómo lo resuelve? Eh, yo no tengo computadora. Entonces, no. no. Por el internet. Ah, ah. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. And uh, what about maybe Jocelyn? I don't know if she is available. No. She's Estoy not. Oyente. And Cecilia? And, um, yes, always when do not email work. Uh, okay. no funciona el correo. When email doesn't work. Perdón. When the email doesn't work. Ah, okay. 
Ok, en Julio. Julio, do you call tech support? Never, teacher. Never. Yo, yo soy el de soporte. Yo soy oh. el de soporte técnico. Cada vez que se arruina algo, a mí me están llamando. Él es el que da un número. <risa> ok. Ah, sí. entonces nos va a ser muy útil porque en la conversación viene algo de eso. Ok. So you finish. Sí. Yes. Ok, let's get back. Okay, let's wait for the others. In 15 seconds, everybody must be back. Okay, Eliel is back. You know, maybe because of the heavy rain in some places, many people are having problems with the connectivity, but as soon as it is okay, get back, get back. Remember, every every minute counts, okay? So class, here we go. And uh, over here. Now class, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. The conversation is between Peter and Robert. And look at the picture. This is the boy hanging a phone and the other and the other boy is in front of a computer. We have good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. This is what always the tech support asks us. Esto es lo que siempre nos pregunta el tech support, yes or no? If you say, I would like to report a problem with my computer. Okay. Let me ask you some questions. Is it connected? Did you push the on button and other questions that they ask? Yeah. Porque creen que al principio que no estamos usando bien el dispositivo, yeah, the gadget. Yes or no? <laughs> sí yeah, o no? Yeah. Eso yeah. me pregunta. Igual que con la Internet Connectivity, ¿verdad? Bueno, pero eso ya lo vamos a hablar porque son los tech support problems. So here, I need two volunteers to practice this conversation. Hello, the two volunteers. Alexis is Peter. And who's going to read Robert? Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Welcome, uh, Mr. Francisco y Medi. Pablo, Thanks. you're going to read Robert, okay? So here we go. Pablo, you are Robert. And Alexis, you are Peter. To the count of three, you get a started class. Here we go. One, two, three, begin. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling for the human resource department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is, what is Robert? What is it, I Robert? I doesn't seem to work. 
Ashi, let me ask you some question. Okay, very well. It it doesn't seem to work. Parece que no funciona, no trabaja. I like to report a problem. Me gustaría reportar un problema porque si usted le dice, I need you to come here to check my computer, nunca va a llegar. Si le dice, necesito que venga a revisar mi computadora, jamás va a llegar. So you need to use polite words, polite language. Un lenguaje amable, amigable, para que lleguen a ayudarle. Yes or no? So once again, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I would like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions, okay? So class, you go to the breakout rooms, you read this conversation, you switch roles, and when you are done, when you finish practicing the conversation, you need to play the role of Peter and the role of Robert, okay? Because you switch. And then you get in the groups, you are going to uh, discuss these questions. What is the issue with Robert's computer? Remember, issue is a synonym for problem, difficulty, okay? What does the, what does he, how does he report the problem? ¿Cuál es la forma? ¿Qué es lo que él dice para reportar el problema? Yes? And now here, after that, you are going to go over this discussion. Check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. Fíjense bien. Después, van a revisar ustedes estos problemas que están acá, los más comunes. Y como equipo, van a decidir cuáles son los más comunes por los cuales nosotros llamamos tech support o por los cuales llamarían al tech support. ¿Ya? Is it clear? Yes, ¿Están teacher. claras las instrucciones? Yes, ok, yes, here we go. Uy, hold it. Because I'm going to recreate the group. Okay. Este como han ingresado, ¿verdad? Entonces ya la plataforma los agrupa de manera diferente. Okay, I'm going to send you right now the invitation. First, practice the conversation. Later, you discuss the questions and write an answer. And afterwards, you discuss which are the most common problems, why people call tech support, okay? You sure, I answer. have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, in the conversation, uh, son tres personajes, ¿verdad? Let me check. Let me double check. Ay. Because as far as I, uh, let me see. Ay. And no, here there is a mistake. Porque no tiene que ser Jan. Porque I see. Uh, let me ask you some questions. A la, a la persona que llama. Es Peter. Acá tiene que ser Peter. Porque Peter es quien contesta. No hay tres porque es una conversación telefónica. Oh, ya es que como ahí decía John. Sí, ajá, que tiene que un... ser Peter. Thank you for that. Thank you for telling me. This is Peter. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Porque Peter es el que le dice. Te voy a hacer unas preguntas, ¿ok? Para ver cómo, cuál es el problema. Ok. Thank you for telling me, ¿ok? That is Peter. Okay, so here we go. Okay, go to your groups, please. Join your groups.
Okay, join your groups, people. Josué, join your group. Fátima, sí, go your group. Me puedes meter, me vuelve a enviar la invitación, por favor. Permítame que es que la plataforma lo recreó de nuevo. Quiero ver dónde está. Oh, entonces lo voy a mover a otro equipo y luego lo asigno a este, ¿le parece? No estaba acuerdo, cuando gracias. llegó la invitación, no estaba pendiente. Sí. Ok. Me está fallando la, el internet, por eso se me corta. Nosotros okay. escuchamos. Ok, class, here you are, Erika, Sarita, en Alexis. Mire, Sarita, nosotros sí le escuchamos, nosotros sí le escuchamos a usted, así es que usted continúe, ¿ok? Entonces, en ese caso, ahora que le escuchamos, ¡ay, Sarita salió! Ok, Erika y Alexis, sí, ella ha tenido problemas por la lluvia, ¿ok? Ah, okay. she's back, she's back, aquí está. Entonces, que comienza Sarita y Erika. Aprovechemos la conexión, ¿ok? Take advantage. Ok. Sarita y Erika, let's begin. Ok. Good morning, this is Peter from Dutch Support. How can I help you? Francisco, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Seré Peter. Good okay. morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. Oh. Hola, no te no te vi bien. How can I help you? How can I help you, Josué Isaac? How can I help you? How can I help you? Hi Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Hola. Human Resources. Human Resources Department. It's like to report a problem with my computer. What is what is it, Robert? It don't don't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Ahora intercambiamos, ¿verdad? Hoy soy Peter yo. Ok. Good morning, this is Peter from Teach Support. How oh. can I help you? Hi Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. It like to report a problem with my computer. What's it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okay. Okay. Eh, practicamos, Cecilia, unice. Okay. Francisco Ernesto and Ceci. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I Peter first. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can help? How can I help you? Hi Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Depart Department. It like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? He doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Ahora inicio yo con Peter. Uh, okay. Good morning. Good morning. This is Peter from Teach Support. What, what can, no, what can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? Ay, perdón, ¿es esto? <laughs> sí. What is it, Robert? I don't seem to work. I see. 
let me ask you some questions. Okay, now listen to your teacher. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Take Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I would like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? What is it? What is it, Robert? Is it? it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Now you go over and answer the two questions in exercise three. And you go to the other exercise as a group. Okay. 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 Okay, very well. Continue, please. Very well done, class. ¿Cuál es el reporte del problema? La verdad, ¿verdad? Vale, pero entonces llegamos a lo mismo. El reporte del problema es porque no está trabajando. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la respuesta a la 1? Ok. Pues la primera solamente sería siempre viendo que reporta el problema. Es que la primera es qué es lo que reporta, sí. sí. Eso lo dice no está trabajando, dice, no está funcionando. Okay. Y la segunda sería cómo reportó el problema mediante una llamada. He called tech support. Sí, es una llamada telefónica que él hace. Yo creo que como que las dos respuestas están marcadas en negrito. Creo que la clave es esa. Eh, porque es casi similar a lo que está preguntando. Sí, eso estaba viendo. Ajá, la de arriba es la segunda y la de abajo es la primera. Eso sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Aunque no, fíjate por qué. ¿Cuál es el issue with Robert's computer? ¿Cuál es el problema con la computadora de, de Robert? It doesn't seem to work. Parece que no trabaja, que no funciona. It doesn't uh -huh. seem to work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And how does he report a problem? I like to report to a problem. Uh-huh. Yes, I like uh -huh. to report a problem. Uh -huh. He used that expression, I like to report a problem. Te support? No. I would like to report a problem, porque cómo es que él reporta el problema. Él dice, I would like to report a problem with my computer. Esa es la frase que él usa cuando reporta el problema, ¿sí? Por eso están marcadas de negrito. Uh -huh. Ahora seleccionemos cuáles son los problemas en común que los cuales nos obliga a llamar a soporte técnico. Pablo puede bajar. Ah, claro, sí, ahorita. ¿O quién tiene la? Yo la tengo. Ok. Y yo estoy viendo Pablo Adalberto Juárez Spring. ¿Ya? Está viendo la pantalla de Pablo Adalberto Juárez. Yes. Oh, okay. <risa> okay, dentro, dentro de esa lista de problemas mm -hmm. que eh, son los que comúnmente ocurren, vamos a seleccionar cuáles son las más comunes, este teacher. Sí. Yes. Ok. ¿Les parece si hacemos una lluvia de, de, de ideas y nos decimos cuáles son los, los problemas que comúnmente y vemos cuáles tenemos en común? Ok. 
si quieres repasamos otra vez el diálogo, Alexis. Creo que también... Eh... Porque los demás no, no hablan. Que... Eh, ya contestaron las preguntas. Sí, sí, las y preguntas ya seleccionaron sí. también sí, los también. problemas. Más... Ah, yes. so you continue practicing the conversation. Remember, mm -hmm. practice okay. makes perfect. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. eh, creo que lo que podríamos llamar también sería la de funny noise in the CPU. Por un ruido en el CPU. CPU, ya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You get terrified when you listen to that. Nos aterrorizamos cuando oímos eso. Reports out for order. That's it. Maybe that's it. Okay. Repasemos entonces. Okay. Okay. I start. Good morning. Good. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okay. How are you? Good morning. This is Peter from the Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I didn't call you from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is this, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I'm see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Ahora yo. Ahorita no tengo buena. Vale, vale. Well, good morning. This is Peter from the Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. All right. Okay. Uh, what is it? Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from the Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I would like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't uh, seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I see. Me está costando. Como le dicen. Yeah, it is a chaos. Yeah, <laughs> when you have problems with the connectivity. But now let's get back to the main session room, okay? Okay, it's miss. time to return. Okay. Okay, class, if you notice, it has been today. We have had a very chaotic day with the connectivity for many of you, right? Sarita, are you here? Or, oh, yeah, you are here. Teresa, yes. no, she couldn't make it. She couldn't return. Okay. Yes, I am here. Okay, thank you. Great. 
And also for Eliel, he has been having troubles today with the connectivity, correct? But you're here, thank God. So class, let's take advantage of our connectivity. And here we go. Question number one. What is the issue with Robert's computer? What is the issue? What is the problem? It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work very well. So his computer doesn't seem to work and you have it in there. And you write it doesn't seem to work. Mm -hmm. What about number two? Last, how does he report the problem? With a call. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. He made a telephone call. Yes. Reporting. Reporting the problem. And what did he say? I like to report the problem. Yeah. In a very nice way in a very polite way. So, um, class, right now we're going to discuss the following, yeah? And it goes like this. Let's talk about and compare. Let's check which problems are, in our opinion, the most common reasons to call tech support. Do you call when it has been installed a new software? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Many people because they don't understand it. We don't understand. Oh my God, what is it? Then no internet access. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Then when there is a virus. Yes. Obviously, yes. because they have the antivirus. Yeah. Uh, deleted files, when you delete files and you want to recover them? Yes or no? Yes. Mm. Or oh, you know how to recover yes. them? Si ¿Sí saben cómo recuperar los archivos eh, que ya borraron? Los eliminados? Yes. No. Some, okay, some of you say no. Uh, paper stuck in printer? Cuando el papel se estanca, que no pasa en la impresora. Do you call tech support? Yes or no? No. no. Uh, when the no. USB ports are out of order. Cuando no funcionan los puertos. Yes. yes. Yeah, because it is mandatory. Uh, when there is a funny noise in the CPU. Yes. Yeah, because... If you don't know how to fix it, uh, when the screen is frozen, frozen screen, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. But usually, okay, it is a, an internet problem. Now we're going to go over this uh, listening practice. Listen to a tech support call between a man and a woman, okay? So I need you. Okay. I'm going to share the link via, via Zoom, okay, right now over here. So you go over it and via WhatsApp too, okay? Over here, so you log in and you listen, okay? It is a listening practice, so all your microphones, please, off. Turn off your microphones. Okay, great. Let's listen to uh, the conversation.
there are three conversations. Miss, me lo puede enviar de nuevo. Ok. Again via Zoom. And again via WhatsApp. Ok. Okay, I have sent it to you. There are three short conversations. When you finish, you tell me. Mama, there is a Finished? Yes? Yeah. Listening to the three short conversations, okay? So you have three different ways in there of reporting a tech problem, yes? That is the purpose. And also you have the listening and the script to have a better understanding of the conversations. So there is no excuse to say, I didn't understand because you have the scripts. The scripts means the conversations. So now class, let's continue. And here we go. You have ways to report a problem and the common issues to report. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. I have trouble with my computer. I have trouble with my printer. I had trouble with my air conditioner. I have trouble or I have an issue with my cell phone if the cell phone is provided by the company so problem issue trouble are synonyms they mean a problem a trouble a difficulty and then you have the common issues to report it does not seem to work it makes a strange noise it makes a funny noise it does not turn on it doesn't turn on no enciende no arranca ya yeah? So now that we have here three different ways to report a problem, a tech problem, and the common issues to report, you have to go over, and this is a, a teamwork. What are the common issues you have in your workplace? This was at the beginning, right? ¿Cuáles son los problemas comunes que tienes en tu lugar de trabajo? En relación a los equipos con los que trabajan. Write down the most common problems you have with the equipment in your office. 
vas a escribir los problemas que tienes más comúnmente con los equipos o el equipo en tu oficina o tu lugar de trabajo. Write the problems you and your classmates have in common in the middle section. Okay, so right now, you're going to write over here, class. Okay, en esta parte de acá, vamos a escribir um, el, el problema, los problemas que ustedes tienen con los equipos o el equipo en su oficina. Solamente en el primer recuadro, ok. Solo ese van a escribir uno o dos problemas, o si tienen varios, pues todos los problemas que puedan presentar. With the air conditioner, with the printer, with the phone, with the cell phone, with the laptop, with the tablet, with the computer, with uh, some fans or whatever. O, o algún otro equipo que no conozcamos nosotros, ¿verdad? Pero sí lo utiliza usted. Solo eso, me escriben un listado acá. Porque luego van a escribir a, en la otra parte el de su compañero o compañera. Y al centro, sí. si hay alguno en el que coinciden, ese es el que van a escribir al centro, ¿sí? Hello. Pero yo no pongo nada de eso. En la escuela, y con, no tienen proyectores, no tienen pizarras en la este, pantallas para proyectarle a los niños. Eh, pantallas sí, pero o sea, yo no las ocupo. Pues sí, pero ¿cómo las reportaría usted si usted estuviera a cargo y la, la misa a cargo no está? ¿Con quién eh, no reportaría? Imagínese que usted es la, la Miss la, in Charge. Imagínese que usted la, es la Miss a cargo. Con la ¿Vale? jefe de departamento. Correcto, vaya. Pero ¿cuáles son los problemas que usted visualiza que se dan ahí en el aula? With the, with the, with the screen, with the remote, maybe, con el control remoto. ¿Sí? Sí. Ah, pues eso, escribo. Ok, no problem. Okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. The idea is to use the language. La idea es usar el idioma, ¿verdad? El, el lenguaje que se utiliza para reportar estos problemas, ¿ok? Solo en este cuadrito de la left hand side, del lado izquierdo. Sí. And then, for example, with uh, the computer audio, for example. Yeah, the computer audio. And then you continue with the others that you might have. Pero si son otro tipo de maquinaria, pues entonces escriben sus problemas. If you are a driver, si usted es un conductor, ¿Cuáles problemas le presenta y a quién llama? No todos pueden ser tech support. Teacher, 
I have a question. Yes, ask me the question. Okay, in my case, in my work, uh, tenemos una, una maquinaria que se llama achicadora. I don't know cómo se dice, en, se podría decir en inglés. I don't know what type of, of, of machine is that one. No sé qué tipo de máquina es esa. ¿Qué, qué hace? Eh, es una máquina que, que, saca el, que saca el agua. ¿Como bomba? Mm, ajá. Uh, uh, water, uh, you may say water extractor. Water extractor machine. Ok. Uh -huh. Water ex... extractor machine. Ok. Thanks, teacher. My pleasure. Si quiera, a mí me cayó la conexión, así que no escuché las instrucciones. Ah, ay, Pablo. Ok, so, le llegó el turno, Pablo, por obvio. Acá, Pablo, en este recuadro, usted va a escribir los problemas técnicos que tiene en su oficina, puesto de trabajo. Si no son técnicos, pero son de otra naturaleza, porque usted trabaja con otro equipo, no necesariamente computadora, fax, aire acondicionado, impresora, entonces usted escribe los problemas que tiene con ese equipo acá. ¿Sí? ¿Cuáles son los problemas que tiene? Solamente los suyos escriben en este momento aquí, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? ¿Cuántos serían en total, teacher? Hola. ¿Cuántos serían lo, lo que usted considera, porque hay quienes van a tener más que otros. Dependiendo uh -huh. la naturaleza del equipo con el que se trabaja, ¿de acuerdo? Uh -huh. Ok, bitch. Porque I could uh, write computer audio, uh, frozen screen, uh, a strange noise, a virus. Peter, sí ¿cómo mucho, puede escribir ¿verdad? con audio de las llamadas? Aquí está Yo audio. Tengo problemas con el audio, audio. de llamadas. Aquí está computer audio. Audio call. Com Pero de audio, llamadas, ah, que se escucha calls, cortado. Yes, audio calls. Audio, audio calls. calls, yes. Okay. Especially when it is windy or, or when it is raining, right? Or when the internet is unstable. Cuando el internet no está estable. Okay. As soon as you finish, you tell me, please, class, okay? In the station. Great, excellent. Uh, one more minute for the others. I finish. Excellent. Okay, class, while you finish writing your issues list, I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance. Okay, here we go. Brandon Alexis. Present teacher. Cecilia. Present Thank you, Miss Ceci. Daniel Eduardo Absent. Diana. Diana, Diana, Diana. Erika. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Erika. Fanny? Present, teacher. Okay, great, Fanny. Fatima? Present. Okay, Francisco Antonio Correa Simede? Present, Miss. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto González? Present, teacher. 
Thank you. Jocelyn, you are listening. Yes, Jocelyn, what are you? Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Eliel, Jonathan? Present teacher. And you finish, okay? Yes. Okay, because I saw you, you were relaxing. That's good. Uh, Jose Francisco Mejia. Okay, he says he's a listener. Josué? <gasps> Josué? Josué, Josué, is up. Luis is absent. Mayra is absent today. Oscar? Present teacher. I thank you, Oscar. Pablo is back. Present teacher. Sarita? Sarita. Present. <laughs> okay, fortunately you're here. Tania? Present teacher. Okay, hello, Tania. Teresa de Jesus, did she get back? No, she couldn't. Sarita, okay, no, she couldn't get back. Um, Sochil? Sochil. Sochil lost the connectivity, she's always here. Tulio? Here. Listen. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yes? Okay, yes, listen, listen to me. I'm going to tell you what to do. Because right now, class here, uh, on the left-hand side, you have your problems with the ones uh, that you face every single day at work with your different machines, your equipment that you use to work. Here in the third uh, space, en el tercer espacio, usted va a escribir los problemas de su compañero o compañera que tiene él, que escribió. Es decir, yo trabajo con Sarita. Yo le voy a dictar a Sarita mis problemas y ella los escribe acá en su espacio, tercera columna. Luego Sarita me comenta sus problemas que tiene en el colegio y yo los escribo en esta parte de acá. Luego, ¿qué vamos a hacer? En esta parte central vamos a escribir los que tenemos por coincidencia, por casualidad, los que tenemos en común, los problemas con nuestros equipos de trabajo, que podemos coincidir en uno, dos, tres o en ninguno, ¿sí? And that's it. Is that okay? Okay, teacher. Ok. Aquí dice, mire... Uh, que escribe tres problemas work with a classmate, write three problems for each piece of equipment que escriban tres problemas por cada por cada equipo, pero como ustedes tienen diferentes eh, maquinarias, ¿verdad? Eh, add the name of a piece of equipment in your workplace using the diagram in page 41, esto practice reporting one of those problems to a classmate, pero eso todavía no sino que vamos a trabajar en esto primero porque hemos tenido tan mala conexión este día Okay, y mañana o luego continuamos. De acuerdo. Here we go. I'm going to ask you to go to the breakout rooms and you go over this, this activity. Here we go. Si usted salió y no tiene equipo, espérese que ya le voy a asignar uno. Okay, don't say, no, I don't have. I, I have three people over here. Uh, Jocelyn goes to group number, let me see, number one. Josué Isaac goes to group number three. Pablo, you were in group number four, right, Pablo? Estaba en el equipo cuatro, Pablo. Con Fanny, Tania y Tulio. No se recuerda. No, no le escucho, Pablito. Sí, creo que con ella estaba. Dicha. Ok, ok. Estaba con, estaba con José Isaac. Con el y... Ay, pero como aquí ya la plataforma los movió todo, lo voy a enviar al equipo 4, ¿ok? No problem. No problem. Ok, y a Josué ya lo envié también a otro equipo porque aquí lo desconfiguró. Como entran y salen, ya se desconfiguró, ¿ok? Josué, join your group.
Diana, go to your group. Number three. Okay, Francisco, go to your group. Francisco Mejia, please. Se podría repetir, por favor. The sister mm -hmm. does, does, does not work. Otra. ¿Qué quiere? Air, con, ajá. air conditioning does not work. Okay. Ya, Oma. Ah. Y decía ahorita que no tenía ninguno, mire, ¿cuántos le salieron? <risa> Las que están en común con... Es la página... La 40. Claro. Que se me cerró esto. <coughs> Ya tienen las que van a compartir. Eso siempre son la, los problemas que dan, ¿verdad? Técnico. Eh, ¿Sí? desde, la, desde la tijera hasta la computadora. <risa> <risa> Todo falla. <risa> Voy a llamar al de servicio técnico porque me quebró la tijera. <laughs> of your car the scissor of your car la tijera del auto <laughs> oh, oh, la moto Ya vengo, teacher. Voy a tomar un grave. Ok. The others continue. Los otros continúan. Ok. Francisco ya tiene la suya. La última instrucción, yo. Hola, teacher. Hello. Tania. Eh, teacher, este, nada más íbamos a compartir entre nosotros eh, los problemas técnicos eh, eh, de, de, los, de los equipos. Pero, ¿sí? pero, sí, pero, mmm, vaya. Scroll, uh, scroll it, Pablo. Vaya, ahí. Y, 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 ahí y vamos a escribir los problemas vaya. de los otros y, compañeros, ¿verdad? Pero permítanme, sí. En el primer... Eh, cuadro a la izquierda tienen que escribir los problemas que ustedes tienen con su equipo se supone que tienen que escribir por ejemplo con una computadora tres problemas que tienen con ella pero yo los dejé libre porque como no todos trabajan con computadora ¿verdad? trabajan en diferentes lugares y tienen diferentes puestos de trabajo entonces en ese primer cuadro escriben ustedes sus problemas luego en el último cuadro en el de la derecha van a escribir los de su compañero o compañera y al centro van a escribir los que tienen en común acá lo pueden hacer en equipo ¿verdad? ¿cuáles son los que tienen en común? ¿sí? Ah, ok, pero ya eso sí. ya lo, lo, lo terminamos ¿ya hecho. lo terminaron ya todo? Lo sí, lo compartimos y, y, lo, y, y, y ya lo escribieron y ya lo escribieron, ya llenaron los cuadros sí, uno no falta nada más vaya, para que lo compartamos con, con el grupo ¿verdad? Cuando regresemos, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, teacher. Ok, very well done. Excellent. Ok, finished. Hola. Finished. Yes, sir. Yes. Solo yes. Una, una coincidencia con Sarita. Ah, Probably ok. Internet. Internet. Yeah, oh, I Alexis. think that's...
not everybody <laughs> not even not even the internet connectivity with the cell phone no <laughs> okay so uh let's return then to the main session room okay okay, okay. here we go Okay, class, here we go. I'm going to be asking you, in group number one, Alexis, Erika, Fatima, and Sarita, which are the problems that you found you have in common? Do you have any? Okay, uh, with Sarita and, and just, I don't Erica, remember. The, Erica, Erica. Erica, I don't have problems. Uh, in common, in common. In common, yeah, because okay. it's, it's uh -huh. different, different, uh, different. Uh, positions at work. Okay, and Sarita and Erica. Do you have only any one uh, problem? The internet, internet connectivity coincidence. problem. Okay, that was the coincidence. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. In the, the next team, we have Cecilia Eunice Eliel. Francisco Ernesto González, Francisco Inede, and Josué Isaac. Okay, tell me, did you find any problem in common with the, the, the equipment? Only with the internet. Only with the uh, internet. Security cameras. Okay, security cables. Thank you so much. Yeah. Great, excellent. Now in group, uh, the next group, we have Fanny, Pablo, and uh, Tulio, okay. Did you find any problem in common? Eh, nosotros colocamos teacher not internet uh, access. No internet access or no internet connectivity. Thank you so much. Uh, if connectivity. You know, connectivity or access, the same. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you notice, that is the most common problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. in all of yes. the in all of the teams. Yes. So right now, because you have the different problems, you are going to uh, create a short conversation similar to this one. And then you say, for example, if I say uh, the conversation between Erica and Tania, and then, good morning, this is Erica from Tech Support. How can I help you? And then uh, Tania says, hi, uh, Erica, this is Tania. I am calling from the sales department to tell you an example. I'd like to report a problem with my um, headphones, mm -hmm. probably, if you are a sales executive agent, yes? Or i like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, um, Tanya? And then you say the problem. It doesn't turn on, it makes a strange noise or whatever, yes? And I see, let me ask you some questions. Did you notice? Yes? ¿Se fijaron cómo vamos a hacer la dinámica de la conversación? Sí. Hola. Entonces, dos voluntarios. Vamos a escribir aquí los nombres de los personajes. Acá lo vamos a hacer porque ya casi el tiempo no nos alcanza, ¿verdad? Y luego mañana lo hacemos como feedback. ¿Ok? Entonces sería acá, volunteers. Voluntarios que tengan problemas. Uh, bueno, vamos a escribir aquí a Tania. Tania. 
Tania and the other participant. El otro participante o la otra participante. Eliel. Eliel. Oh, ok. Thank you. Eliel. Ok. Ok, here we go. Um, <laughs> and then over here, this is uh, Tania. She's going to say. Tania. Ok, let's begin. <laughs> y comenzamos. Ok, Tania, you begin. Tania. Hola, teacher. Yes. Ok, okay. you begin. Sí, yo, eh, la primera no se le cambiaría nada, ¿verdad? No, only your name. Ok. Uh, good morning, this Tania from, the, uh, from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Tania. This is Eliel. I'm calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What it is, Eliel? It doesn't internet access. It doesn't seem to have internet access. Okay. Tania, I, I see. Let me <coughs> ask you some question. Okay. Well done, but only one suggestion. When you read here, what it is, no, what is it, because it is a question, porque es una pregunta. Si usted dice, what it is, no es pregunta, ¿verdad? Y acá, miren, signo de interrogación, what is it, pero no decimos what is it, what is it, this T sounds like R, suena como una R, suave, what is it? What is it, Tania? What is it, Erika? What is it, Francisco? What is it, Pablo? ¿Ya? ¿Qué sucede? ¿Cuál es el problema? Y aquí usted describe el problema que presenta con su equipo. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Ya? Thank you, teacher. Ok, very well. Now, uh, I'm going to ask you, which are some of the most common problems that people face, que la gente tiene, with uh, the electronic devices? ¿Cuáles son los problemas que más frecuentemente tenemos con los eh, dispositivos electrónicos? Tell me, which are those? The most common, internet connectivity. Yes? New software. Software. Software, another one. Otro más. Ok, internet connectivity, Reviews. software. Reviews. Which one? Ceci. Reviews. Virus, viruses, virus. Virus. viruses, very well. And another one? The Excel and Word. Excel and Word. Sí. Uh, with softwares. Those are softwares. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Con esos programas. Sí. Ah, okay, great, excellent. So listen, I'm going to ask Tanya, do you think that you can stay with me for 10 minutes after class? Tania. Perdón, teacher, diga. ¿Cree que puede quedar 10 minutos conmigo? Sí, teacher. Un ratito. Ok, thank you so much. Okay. Listen, class, for tomorrow I need you to start as a homework. I need you to start creating a conversation because that is going to be the feedback. Necesito que comiencen mañana a configurar que se duerman pensando en esto, ¿verdad? en que vamos a crear mañana una conversación parecida a esta, usted seleccione desde ya cuál es el problema que va a reportar, ¿sí? Porque luego vamos a seguir con las preguntas. Let me ask you some questions, dependiendo de cuál es el reporte que usted va a hacer, ¿sí? ¿Comprendimos? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Listen, um, necesito eh, Cecilia, ¿verdad? Las personas que nombré para que me trabajen en la plataforma, por favor, necesito que lo hagan con extrema urgencia. Francisco Mejía, necesito me trabaje. Cecilia también. Eh, veamos. ¿Quién más? Mm, Josué ya está casi al día. Eh, sí. Entonces sería Francisco Mejía y Ceci. 
necesito que me, que, que me trabajen bastante fuerte en la plataforma, por favor, okay, para que no se you. les acumule. Ok, thank you so much. Thanks for joining. Sleep tight and enjoy the weather because it is fresh, ok? See you tomorrow. Fresh. Only Tania stays yeah. with the teacher. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Yes. Thank you for joining. Josué a trabajar bye en bye. la plataforma. Bye bye. Have a good night. Aproveche que hay conexión, Josué, que tiene conexión a internet y de adelante en la plataforma. Only Tania stays with the teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, Fanny. Bye, Francisco. Josué, bye, bye. Have a good night. Bye, bye, Fanny. Bye, bye, Francisco. Josué, sleep well. See you tomorrow. Thank you for joining. I know that you love the class, but it's time to say goodbye. Only Tania stays with the teacher. Okay, Tania, here we go. Let's begin because <laughs> it seems that they are frozen. Parece que se quedaron congelados. Entonces puede dar la asesoría para cinco gente. Cuatro. Okay, here we go. Okay, Hola, teacher. Tania. Hola, Tania. Vaya, vamos a trabajar esto. ¿Sí? Entonces, sí, sí. vaya, usted inicia. Okay. ok, así como está ahí, yo voy a ir haciendo los cambios, ok, y en base a los cambios usted va, va configurando lo que me va a contestar, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, ¿Lo haría con sus cambios o, o, o tal como está el? No, el... Yo, 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 le, yo le voy a ir diciendo los cambios, porque en este caso yo personificaría al joven y usted okay. inicia, ¿verdad? Porque yo le estoy llamando rin, rin, ok. Ok, okay. good morning. This Peter from no, this is Tania. This is Tania. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. eh, okay. eh, good morning. The, this is Tania from Tech Support. Eh, how can I help you? Hi, Tania. This is Irma. I am calling from the teaching uh, department. I like to report a problem with my computer. Uh, what is it? Irma. Um, Irma. It doesn't seem to, to turn on. It seems that it is frozen and it makes a strange noise. I see. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you some questions. Very well. And that's it. That is what you need to practice for tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Uh, now we're going to practice reading. Okay. Here we go. I am Ever and you are Beth. So let's begin. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this uh, this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this year, these days. How about you? That sounds great. Uh, what a coincidence I am some talking, talking in English course. English is essential uh, at the as the workplace they stay. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying, studying on my own. You know, I am really nervous to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Now you read Ever and I read Beth. Cambio. Okay. Um, haríamos el cambio. Yes. We switch. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no nice. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on the new project and also I am taking an English a course days 
they, they, is they, uh, how about you? Um, that sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a uh, calling will complete uh, the core is taking a uh, training in English. This is they. You're right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have a better results. Great. Well, I don't listen in, in, in Cersei. Exercises. Exercising. Uh, they help a lot. Okay, repeat after me. I am taking an English course. Pardon, teacher? Repeat after me, please. I am taking an English course. I, I um, don't decide. Okay, teacher. over here. Okay, I am taking an English course here. I am. I I I am taking 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 an English course. I am taking an English course. Okay, repeat after me. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England. In green. In green. This one in green. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England. A colleague who complete the course is taking in a training. A training in England. Okay. I am studying on my own. I am studying on my own. I am reading novels. I am reading novels to have better results. To have better results. Great. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. Well, I am doing listening. Li li listening? Thing? No, listening. 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 I am doing listening exercises. I am doing listening, listening is. Okay, exercises. Ex exercises. Excellent, very well. Now let's move over here. And this short conversation. Rita and Luis, you listen to the teacher first. Luis, uh, good afternoon. Ah, this is, this is page 35, página 35. Sí, okay. Okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. So, Tania, you are Rita and I am Luis, okay? Okay. Luis, well, ask her down. This is Rita, the new secretary, and you want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know uh, who are attending the an annual conference this, this year, and where is it taking place? Is it taking place? Is it? Is it taking place? Take, okay. Uh, well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? 
Carries. Yes. Uh, they are arrive on Friday mo morning. Repeat after me. They are arriving on Friday morning. They are. They they are arriving. 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 Sería they are arriving on on Friday. 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 Morning. Morning. Okay. Repeat after me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is Rita. This is Rita. The new secretary. The new secretary. I just want. I just want. To confirm. To confirm. Some information. Some information. Hey, Rita. Hey, Rita. Sure. Sure. Tell me. Tell me. I want to know. I got to know. Who are attending. Who are attending. The annual conference. The annual conference. This year. This year. And where is it taking place? And where is it taking place? Place. Place. Well, when where is it taking take, take, taking place? Place. place. Mm -hmm. Porque es lugar donde se llevará a cabo, en qué lugar se desarrollará, ¿sí? Pero si dice please, por favor. Uh, where is it taking place? Uh, well, repeat after me. Well, the IT staff. Well, the it's a staff. No, the IT staff. Well, rep, repeat, teacher. Well, the IT staff. Well, the IT. IT. IT, IT, separado se leería. Sí, porque son dos letras. IT staff. Well, well, the IT staff. Is attending. Is attending. And the conference is taking place. And the conference is taking place. In the place. great room. In the great room. In the great room. Rita. Rita. By the way. By the way. When are the materials arriving? When are the mater materials? The materials arriving. Arriving. Do you know? Do you know? Got it. Got it. Yes. Yes. They are arriving. They are arriving on Friday morning. On Friday morning. Repeat after me, Tanya. Who are attending? Who are attending? Repeat after me. Who are attending? Who are attending? Where is it taking place? Where it is taking a place. No. Where is it taking place? Where is it ta taking place. place? The IT staff. The IT staff. Is attending. Is attending. The conference is taking place. The conference is taking place. When are the materials arriving? Where are the materials arriving? Got it. Got it? Yes. Yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, very well. Let's see. I know this one. No. Okay, this short conversation. 
I am Rose and you are Mary. We are here at page number 33, página 33. Okay. okay, I am Rose and you are Mary. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Uh, hi, Rosie. Rosie, verdad? Uh -huh. Okay, hi, Rosie. Well, 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 there are many things, things. things and doing. I am uh, doing. I am doing. Uh, I am doing uh, this week. For exam, example, example, am, for example, am, for example, I am singing, signing, signing, signing. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, I am sign, signing uh, some payroll, payroll on Thursday in. Sending, 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 sending. Mm -hmm. uh, emails on Wednesday, 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 la D no se, uh, ok, Wednesday, no se pronuncia la letra mm -hmm. D, Wednesday, Wednesday, ajá, uh -huh. uh, that's ok, I am, talking to colleagues I am talking to colleagues and checking reports uh, I and what and what is analysis uh, okay repeat after me listen Tania repeat after me who is analyzing who is analyzing who is analyzing the advances? The advances in the company. Yes, Peter is. Okay, Peter is. So, Miss, thank you for giving me this time and we practice reading and vocabulary, right? It was good. Okay, so I appreciate. Have a good night and see you tomorrow, night, okay? Sir. Thank, Thank you, you for joining. Bye-bye. Have a great bye -bye. night. Sleep well. Take care. Bye-bye.